What's going on everybody? Um, today's video will be pretty quick. Just a kind of a repetitive video. I'll be showing another pair of Air Force Ones, kind of like a walkthrough, but this time I'll explain all of the steps because I feel like I left you guys hanging a little bit. So let's get to it. Okay, so for this uh, particular custom, I'll be using all Createx colors. Uh, I'm using fluorescent raspberry, fluorescent um, purple, and then bright blue, wicked orange, and golden yellow. I already based it in a little bit of the raspberry. And then uh, the next step would be to uh, kind of continue that raspberry a little bit as it goes forward. Right now, you see me adding that uh, my first coat of the Wicked Orange. The goal in this process is to kind of blend everything. So you don't need a lot of any one color. Uh, you kind of want to fade off or dust off uh, the front part of the swish with that Wicked Orange. And you want to dry in between each coat, too. Just cleaning out the airbrush. And then uh, the next step would be to add this yellow. Now, the key here is to kind of mist it because you don't want to oversaturate it. Then it'll overtake the orange and you're going to kill the whole process. The goal is to kind of have that yellow sit on top of the orange the right way so that you still see kind of like a, a yellow orange look. And you're going to get more so the tip of it as you're going. So it's like a progressive thing the darker colors towards the back and the lighter colors towards the front. Next up, oh, another color, color I forgot to mention, sorry about that, but that will be next is pink. Fluorescent pink will be used to kind of get this midsection where the purple and the, well, the raspberry and the orange meet. And again, you want to kind of miss that because towards the purple side, it'll kind of brighten up that raspberry. And then towards the orange, it'll turn that light orange, that yellow orange into more of a true orange as the purple and the orange kind of blend together. That's the thing about these colors. These are all fluorescent and uh, transparent colors. So they kind of sit on top of each other like a film, as if you're putting different filters on top of the previous color that helps them to blend better, versus you using a lot of opaque colors and trying to blend those. That's a lot harder. The last step is to use that bright blue, which is transparent. And that's going to help you turn that light purple into more of a darker purple and then blue towards the very back of the heel. The inspiration from this entire color fade was like the Instagram uh, logo. So that's why you have a blue fade into purple into pink, orange, and then yellow. And then right here, I'm just adding the last detail by hand. Uh, for the letter A towards the back heel. So at this point, so far so good. Um, the only thing that's left to do is make sure that the shoes are fully dry and then you want to hit them with that uh, clear coat before you start taking the tape off. That way the actual leather on the shoe and the part that you just painted have two different finishes. So the part that you just painted really pops more so than if the entire shoe had the same finish on it. And I forgot one more thing. Uh, the brand that uh, the brand of finisher that I use is called Treehouse Studios. You can find it at any Hobby Lobby. Uh, I really don't know anywhere else you can get it, but like I say, Hobby Lobby is pretty pretty easy to find. So it's about five dollars. They have a gloss, high gloss, and then they have a matte finish. Really, really good stuff. It's it's flexible, perfect for shoes. So definitely want to check that out. Let's see what we got. Already felt that high, and I don't never plan on falling off. 
can't wait to prep and knock these things out for my client, Brooklyn Dodgers. I mean, the look, when it's done, it'll be pretty clean on the 11. <laughs> it's kind of hard not to be clean on the 11 if you do good work, but um, or if you take the right steps, and you can see that way. But, um, yeah, I mean, it'll be something different. And you know the Dodgers are blue and white, so that kind of gives you a hint on where it's going. Stay tuned for that. Niggas never felt a pain like this. No. Niggas never felt an angel's kiss. Saints of the death tickle in the back of your neck. You gotta.